all right you are welcome again you are still treating complex numbers then under complex number today let's look into polar representation of complex numbers polar representation of complex numbers okay we have complex number z to be in form of x plus i y and then on the space we can have a diagram like this on this diagram we have the x axis and the y axis so we can identify x and then y okay so we have r here r simply means the resultant the resultant okay we can call it the resultant but in complex number system we call it the modulus the word the modulus in elsewhere we can call it the resultant the magnitude or the modulus okay now let's go in this place i want us to find a value for x and for y so to do this i want us to employ the method of using so katoa let's use this so katoa okay so we have so katoa all right now let's find cos theta let's find what cos theta so cos theta is going to give us adjacent all over hypotenuse okay so cos theta equal to our adjacent is x all over hypotenuse is what r okay good we have cos theta equal to x all over r from here let's cross multiply so that we can make x the subject why because we are interested in having the value for x we want to find the value for x so let's cross multiply so in doing so we're going to have x is equal to r cos theta x is equal to r cos theta that means we have found the value for x and then x is equal to what r cos theta okay more also let's go further let's say sine theta sine theta is going to give us opposite all over hypotenuse and then our opposite here is y and then our hypotenuse is r so sine theta is equal to y all over r okay sine theta is equal to y all over r so let's cross multiply also to make y the subject so in doing so we're going to have y is equal to r sine theta y is equal to r sine theta okay now let's go in our complex number we have z is equal to x plus i y so we have found the value for x and we found the value for y let's replace them in this z okay so that means we're going to have z is equal to x now you know we have x to be what r cos theta so we're going to have z is equal to r cos theta plus i r sin theta is that true yes okay in this place we discover that we have r in cos theta and then we have r in sin theta okay let's factor out r so in factoring out r we're going to have z is equal to r let's open the bracket cos theta plus i sin theta z is equal to r open bracket cos theta plus i sin theta okay now this is what we call polar representation of complex number polar representation of complex number the polar representation says z is equal to r open bracket cos theta plus i sin theta okay now let's go let's take some examples okay now let's take this question given that z1 equal to 2 plus 3i and z2 equal to minus 3 plus 4i find the polar representation of z1 and z2 find the polar representation of z1 and z2 okay you know from what we've just solved now we say that polar representation z is equal to what r upper bracket cos theta plus i sine theta okay 
so we have z1 is equal to 2 plus 3i that means we have a need for r and we have the need for theta so the need for r we have r is equal to you know r is what the modulus and we have found or we have treated in one of our lessons how to find the argument and then the modulus right so here we have r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared okay so that means we're going to have r is equal to square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared okay so we have square root of 4 plus 9 okay so we have r is equal to square root of 13 that means an, that our r is giving us square root of 13 okay so let's also find theta you know we have theta is equal to tan inverse of 3 all over 2 theta is equal to tan inverse of 3 all over 2 so when we find theta when we say tan inverse of 3 all over 2 is going to give us 56.31 degrees 56.31 degrees all right now let's go let's represent it properly we're going to have z1 is equal to r upper bracket cos theta plus i sin theta so we have found our r and we know our theta right now okay so let's replace them okay now we're going to have z1 is equal to square root of 13 open bracket cos 56.31 degrees plus i sin 56.31 degrees okay so we have z1 equal to square root of 13 open bracket cos 56.31 degrees plus i sin 56.31 degrees all right good let's take the second z2 so we have z2 to be minus 3 plus 4i so let's find our r and then theta so in r we're going to have r is equal to square root of minus 3 squared plus 4 squared so minus 3 squared is equal to 9 then plus 4 squared is equal to 16 okay so we're going to have r is equal to square root of 25 square root of 25 is equal to 5 so we have our r to be 5 let's also solve for our theta so theta is equal to tan inverse of 4 all over minus 3 okay so when we find theta is equal to when we say tan inverse of 4 all over minus 3 it's going to give us minus 51.13 okay so we cannot have a negative angle right that means we're going to add 180 okay that means we're going to say minus 53.13 plus 180 degree is equal to 126.87 so therefore our theta is giving us 126.87 degrees okay so we have our polar representation to be z is equal to r upper bracket cos theta plus i sin theta okay so we have found in our z2 we have found our r and we have found our theta so let's represent it properly we're going to have z2 is equal to our r is what 5 upper bracket cos 126.87 degrees plus i sine 126.87 degrees all right yes 